हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज सुनील कुमार जाधव हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इम्पॉर्टेंट सम्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर टू पॉलिनोमियल सो से दिस वीडियो एंटायरली एंड इफ यू लाइक देन लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लेट सी पॉलिनोमियल द टॉपिक इज डिविजन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल विथ पॉलिनोमियल और वी कैन से डिविजन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल बाय पॉलिनोमियल here we have taken one sum important sum that is from ncert textbook exercise 2.3 question 1 divide the polynomial px by the polynomial gx and find the quotient and remainder now two polynomials are given one is px and another one is gx we have to divide px by gx the polynomial px is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and gx is equal to x square minus 2 let us start dividing let's start divide division x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 this polynomial we have to divide by x square minus 2 so we'll do it this is division x square minus 2 while we need to divide first of all we have to see that polynomial is in decreasing order of its power or not you can see here it is x cube then x square then x raised to 1 and x raised to 0 so it is in a decreasing order of the power similar way here also you can see x square minus 2 here you can see one term is missing that is x square is there but the term of x raised to 1 is missing so this we have to write it in this format that is x square plus i can write it 0 x minus 2 so you should understand instead of dividing x square minus 2 we have to divide with x square plus 0 x minus 2 means we have to write it in a sequence of decreasing order of its power that is power 2 power 1 power 0 You know, x raised to zero is equal to one. It will multiply by two, so it will be answer minus two. So now we have to divide this polynomial with x square plus zero x minus two. Let's start dividing. Actually, you need not to write it like this, but sometimes it is happening that students are doing mistakes. So I have written it like this. So now here you can see it is x square. We want to make it x cube. Then you know x square will be multiplied by x. Then it would be x into x square will convert to x cube so x square into x will be x cube as we divide here or we can say as we multiply with the x then the entire polynomial will be multiplied by x so let us do it the same thing this x plus 0x means 0x into 1x will multiply them then the answer will be 0x square This is minus two into x, so the simple answer will be minus two into x. Now let us see. We'll change the sign for the entire polynomial because we wanted to subtract it from this. So this is x cube is plus. So here I'll write minus. This is plus. It is minus. It is plus. It is minus. Then I will write it plus. Now you can see x cube minus x cube. Now we need to consider this sign only. x cube minus x cube means this term will be eliminated that is x square minus x cube minus x cube will be equal to 0 this is minus 3x square minus 0x square you know if we add something in my, uh, if we add 0x square in minus 3x square that will remain nothing or we can say the term will only remaining here means we are not adding anything so it is minus 3x square This is plus five x plus two x. Now we need not to consider this signature or this sign, but we need to consider this and this sign. So it is five x plus two x. It would be five plus two. That is seven x. Now we will take it this minus three below, as we are doing in the division. Now you can see this x square. We want to make it minus three x square. So first of all, it does not have any coefficient. So we will multiply by minus into three. That is minus three x square, but simply we uh, we have just multiplied with the minus three, then it would be converted to minus three 
x square you can multiply minus 3 plus x square so minus plus will be minus and 3 x square now this term will be multiply here then it is minus this is plus and you know that it is a 0 anything will be multiplied by 0 the answer will be equal to 0 so I should write it here that is equal to plus or minus whatever you can say it is 0 x and this minus 3 into minus 2 so minus into minus will be plus and 3 to the 6 again as we did we will change the sign this is minus so I will do it plus it is plus so I will write minus it is plus I will write minus you can see minus 3x square plus 3x square so this would be cancelled here it is 7x minus 0x 7x minus 0x is equal to 7x and here you can see minus 3 minus 6 so addition will be done because similar sign will be added and the different signs would be subtracted. So minus 3 minus 6 will be equal to minus 9. Right. So here what we got this is our question we will write it here as we have been we have asked that divide the polynomial px by polynomial gx and find the quotient and reminder. So we will write it here quotient of the polynomial or when we divide it with polynomial by polynomial the question will remain x minus 3 and remainder will be equal to we can say that is 7x minus 9 so this is our question and this is our remainder i hope you easily understand it